Okay. Here is our other animal that we get to pick from. The animal that starred in the book by Jan Rapp, a bear. Whenever I say the word bear, I always say it like it's the jungle book. Baloo. So for this, we're going to turn our paper side to side like it is a landscape. For our fox and for our sweater, we both held our paper like they were portraits, which means going up and down. Our bear face is going to be nice and big and round. Okay. And we need it to be kind of wider. We don't need it to be as long as the fox's face. So we're going to start by drawing. Super simple. Nice big letter O. We're going to add our ears on next. And our ears are going to be a little bit more rounded than a fox. So we're instead of using a upside down V, we're going to use an upside down U or a lowercase n. It's all on how you look at it. And we're going to put another one inside there. We want these kind of pointing towards the corners a little bit. Okay. Now, bears ha have, <clears throat> excuse me, bears have a nice big snout, so we're going to draw a nice big circle. We're going to add a smaller circle to be our nose. If you want to color that in, you can. I'm going to. And then we're going to draw the lip and mouth of our bear with an upside down Y. The last thing that we have to do here is we're going to be drawing our eyes and they're just going to be two simple dots or circles, I'm sorry. And we'll color those in. If you want to color them in uh, black, you can. If you want to um, color them in your favorite color, go for it. And then the last step that we're going to do is we are going to be making our fur. And we, we did this in the fox video where we just draw some straight lines. I'm going to start on one side and try and work my way over. One thing that I am not going to do is I'm not going to worry about how long or how short these are, okay? Or if they're grouped close together or far apart. I want to leave my bear's snout mouth area, this part alone, okay? So we're going to kind of skip over that. And as I'm going, you can see that I'm just kind of bouncing all over the place. <clears throat> I was up there before, now I'm down here. And I'm working kind of quickly just to, to have it be playful and spontaneous. That means we're just kind of making it go wherever with no real intention of what we know what it's going to look like. And as I'm working on this, I'm th also thinking about like, what kind of bear is this going to be? Is this going to be a black bear? So I color it in black. Is this going to be like a brown bear, like a grizzly bear? So I color it in brown. Is this going to be a polar bear? So I just leave it exactly the way it is. Look, that is a good bear. 
Nice. Okay. That's how we draw a self a, a self portrait. That's how we draw a portrait of a bear. And like, like I said, it kind of has a folk art feel where it is, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, and when we put this all together, it's going to really, uh, really take off. So um, if you feel like coloring it in today, you can. Um, if you want to wait till next week, because our coloring portion tends to be the second week, go for it. Um, I'm going to have a video of what these look like cut out, not colored in, but cut out and placed together with our um, sweater that we made. So I'm going to have one last little video for you. Okay, have fun.